earning a median annual salary of $40,900, an aircraft load master mathematically pre-plans the correct placement of passengers and cargo on the aircraft so that it can take off and land safely. In the military, loadmasters often fly with the plane so that they can prepare it for the next leg of the journey. Commercial airlines often hire a similar position, called a load planner, but they are not required to fly on the aircraft. Aircraft loadmasters are in high demand, according to a U.S. Air Force loadmaster, who says, there will always be a need for loadmasters to calculate weight and balance, because for every plane that carries cargo somebody has to do the math. An avionics technician works with components used for aircraft navigation and radio communications, weather radar systems, and other instruments and computers. They often must solve complex electrical problems and can often work odd hours depending when their expertise is called upon. Despite this, they are compensated with a good median salary of $49,300. Although they do mostly repairs, many aircraft mechanics specialize in preventative maintenance. Most attend an FAA-approved school, while some learn the skills on the job. Earning a median annual salary of $50,500, aircraft mechanics are offered the best pay and benefits if they seek employment with the major airlines, which has the most competition. Aircraft mechanics with some experience in the field and a positive track can move into the role of an inspector. If they are given an aircraft inspector's authorization, they are often given the best job opportunities, according to BLS. Earning a median salary of $60,600, airplane inspectors enjoy great job security because the work they do is required by the FAA. Airlines are mandated to regularly inspect their planes after any maintenance, repairs, or overhauls. Air Marshals or Sky Marshals are employed by the federal government to guard against attacks targeting passengers and crew on U.S. aircraft. Becoming an Air Marshal is not for the faint-hearted, it requires an individual who is brave, tough, and level-headed. They are trained in handgun accuracy, terrorist behavior recognition, and learn aircraft-specific tactics and close-quarters self-defense measures. Air Marshals are compensated with a median annual salary of $62,100, but often face unique challenges working independently without a backup. Requiring only an associate's degree, being an air traffic controller is referred by many as one of the best paying jobs. However, it is a career well known for causing high stress levels and requiring a tremendous amount of mental focus. Because of this, Work is separated out between controllers for ground movement, takeoff, en route flight time, landing and more. Despite steep competition and high stress, air traffic controllers are compensated with an average salary of $62,500. Requiring both a technical skill and a knack for leading teams, an aircraft maintenance manager is a knowledgeable professional who ensures that their teams perform maintenance regularly and according to regulatory guidelines. The manager is also responsible for scheduling a staff of technicians and likely does much of the hiring and training of their teams. Aircraft maintenance managers earn a median salary of $74,200. An aerospace project engineer must not only understand the ins and outs of aerospace engineering, but they must have the personal and organizational skills to lead a team through a project. A project engineer is likely to be involved in managing the budget for a project, hiring and training staff, checking their team's work, and other administrative tasks. An aerospace project engineer can expect to make on average $82,000. Most pilots used to receive their training in the military, but in recent years a college degree and training from an FAA-certified flight school has become more common among new hires. Although, many jobs pay less, there are other opportunities for pilots besides passenger airline gigs. About 34% of commercial pilots have jobs in crop dusting, testing planes, monitoring traffic, firefighting, and other non-typical functions. Airline pilots, co-pilots, and flight engineers can expect to earn a median annual salary of $117,000.
a director of aerospace program management can earn well into the six-figure salary, or an estimated median annual salary of $151,000. They typically major in engineering, and earn graduate degrees such as business or an MBA. Directors are involved in developing the company's business strategy, negotiating contracts to build aircraft and taking responsibility for a company's profitability,